Hello, my friend, Max Eberly back with another rack of 10 ball. Okay, so I'm going to start with the break and we'll walk through the rack, checking our options, seeing what's going on. I'm going to use my brake cue. I'm using a peach hour brake cue and a peach hour cue, the uh, Lancelot from the Camelot series. Beautiful cue. And right now I'm using a uh, Tiger X Pro shaft with a uh, black onyx tip and don't forget to rack the balls I'm hiring for a personal racker come in handy alright so just trying to get the balls tight okay, let's see what happens I'm gonna break from the other side now right over here real solid on my bridge hand okay decent cue ball control would have been better to come out a little bit more I don't want to I felt like I was in danger of scratching looks like I have a chance to win the game early though here with the two ball Carom from the two to the ten with the cue ball. My cue ball actually it could be anywhere in here. Here I'd probably get a double kiss. It's kind of tough, but if, if I was right here, that would be ideal. And I have an angle. It's right by the pocket. I can pretty much cheat it and focus on making the cue ball come where I want. There's such a margin of error on the one ball. This makes it a lot easier to control the direction of the cue ball. The only thing here is, let's see, my window. If I'm going to come straight off this rail, I have a little window in here. Uh, this this will be no good hitting the six. Might get might be able to come down and hit the two, actually, and have a shot. If you hit it bad and come back here, you might hit the ten, I mean the nine, and get lucky and have a good carom. But I'm going to go go for this hole right here, come straight back into here. I'm just going to use a high ball, a little bit of right, look at my spot first with my eyes and then I'll see the line. I want to actually see this line with my eyes coming off the one. you got to pick an exact spot when you're playing pool. If you don't, you're just at the mercy of, of luck. Okay, so pick your spot, feel your speed, see your lineup. six that was kind of fortunate I was pretty close to a good line now here I was talking about before about getting that double kiss because I'm kind of straight on that too I'm gonna check my angle and see if there really is a double kiss or not so come look at my spot on the 10 and I want to find the tangent line off the two to get me off that 10 and it's actually kind of deep in there on the two once I'm standing at this angle now I look over at the at the two and I see the spot I need to hit. Now my main focus is not to lose that spot. Come over here, hit it. I know it's going to be like a stop shot and I just want to hit it a little below center. Hey, there we go. And I got a little bonus, almost. Alright, so, yeah, a little, you know, a little bit of, bit of luck, but picking your spot for the cue ball to land is essential and usually things are going to work out in your favor because even if you don't land exactly where you want or get the exact line a lot of times you're going to be close then closer than if you didn't pick a spot so don't go for these big giant position zones even though you can and uh, you know if you start playing 15 ball rotation that's going to teach you how to play better position okay see you in the next rack